you know, so it's such a success of mRNA um, um, technology. How confident can we be, or how hopeful can we be, that this technology helps also in many other diseases, cancer particularly, malaria, I think, was mentioned uh, in the media. Can you lift uh, the curtain about uh, what's happening in this respect? Yes. I think we will see a lot of advancements with mRNA. And the good thing, after the success of COVID, it is that right now we have a substantial wave of companies, biotechs and big pharmas, that are working on mRNA. A lot. And they are working on multiple applications of mRNA. Uh, so I think the first, the, the first things that I'm hopeful to see it is other vaccines, other than COVID. A flu vaccine with mRNA, a single vaccine with mRNA, MR, other vaccines with mRNA. The second wave, I think, that uh, we could see it is cancer. We are, uh, there is a lot of research that is happening for many years now, trying to use your immune system to attack your cancer cells to train your immune system as the vaccine is training to attack the virus and kill it, is to, to kill your uh, cancer cells. Then we are going to the third horizon, which the technology will be used for gene editing, to be able, if people are, are born, they have a genetic disease that is right now, it is untreatable, and in many cases a death sentence for those. There's nothing that they can do about it. Now we have some hopes that maybe that also can work. So we will see a lot of advancements, exactly because so many people are working. We are working on that as well, on all of that, but there are also many others, so that increases the chances that something will come out.